Good morning, live weather blog meteorologist Bob Acanfrio here with today's tropical update for Monday, July 19th, 2010. A little more action in the tropics today, so I'm going to get right to that. For the latest on any of, of the severe weather across the um, central and eastern United States today, go to liveweatherblogs.com and we will have the latest information there. So what do we see today? Well, we have our newest Invest. This is Invest 97L. It's located right here, just north of Puerto Rico. It's currently interacting with that upper level low right in this area here. So that's creating about 20 to 30 knots of wind shear over it today. So we're not going to see development of this in the near term. But in the long term, we're going to have to watch for development as it heads west-northwest, positions itself right near the Bahamas, the Florida Straits, and then this is going to get into the Gulf of Mexico by, by the weekend. So this is going to be one to watch. There are indications that an upper high may try to build up in this area here once this system gets over here. So if it can survive the next couple days, it may have a shot. It's going to have to stay north of the islands. Yesterday I was thinking it was going to go over the islands or maybe south of it. But now it looks like it has this upper low has snuck it north of the islands. So it has a good chance of development down the road. This is going to be one to watch. Uh, Bahamas, Central South Florida, Gulf of Mexico, going to have to watch for this one. Uh, National Hurricane Center is giving this a 20% chance of a development in the next couple days. Another one they've circled with 20% is right in here. You can see this is our tropical wave in here. You see mid-level circulation right in this area here, right west of Jamaica. Another one to watch um, under a nice uh, upper high in here. So if we could get some some of this to work down to the lower levels, this could be one to watch. And this is, again, it's going to take the Alex track. We, we can... We almost could pin that track this season so far. We're going to start calling everything the Alex track with high pressure pretty dominant across the uh, southeast here in western Atlantic. This is going to take that road right over the near the Yucatan and into the Gulf of Mexico. So another one to watch. This could be tagged as our next invest um, later today. If it could get some convection going near it and could start working its way down to the surface, this could be our next invest uh, later today or tomorrow. The, the hurricane hunters are um, tentatively going out to investigate Invest 97L tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, if it, if it stays together. So we'll have to see what happens there. And here's our first visible shots of our Invest. Again, no low-level circulation yet. It's really getting sheared by this upper low, and this upper low is going to have to get out of its way for it to develop. So the next couple days, it's going to be intertwined with this upper level low, so no development in the near term. This will bring a lot of rainfall to Puerto Rico and um, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and then off to the Bahamas in the next couple days. And here's the uh, first set of model runs that are being uh, initiated on Invest 97L. And you can see the general motion is to take this west-northwest through the Florida Straits and into the Gulf of Mexico. Again, first set of model runs. Don't get too concerned about it. Just where exactly it's going but it shows you that's going to be the general trend and there's no doubt about this trend with high pressure anchor to its north this is where it's going so we'll definitely have that track and the first set of intensity runs gradually brings them brings us up to a tropical storm in, a, in about three to four days you can see them all located right in this area here taking a closer look at the shear um, with Invest 97L, they, they kind of designate the center right here. This is probably about right. It's going to could be in any of this area right in here. There's no definite center right now. But you can see this is where the upper level low is, and this is all that strong wind shear blowing it. And this is creating, it's interacting with this upper level low, so that's why you see all this convection here. So we'll have to see if this upper level low can move away, weaken. Who knows that's what's going to happen once this gets past this area here. Once it gets back towards the Bahamas and the Florida Straits, it looks like um, an upper high may be building over it, and that could uh, initiate some um, development in about three, three, four days. Here's the uh, shear forecast from the GFS model. You could kind of see this upper low trying to retreat but still a lot of shear hanging back in here. This is 72 hours, so if this verifies, it's going to be really hard to get this going in, in the next couple days here. But then you can see by Friday, we have a little upper high starting to build right near the Florida Straits, and this is where we could start getting development. Still a little upper level low here in the Gulf, so we'll have to see. Conditions aren't 
the greatest for development with this system, but there is possibilities down the road. Again, I don't expect anything to really get going with this system until it really reaches to fl the Florida Straits, uh, north of Cuba in that region in a, in, by the end of the week. And just taking a look at the uh, Central Atlantic, here's our invest right here. Nice wave came off the African coast. Circulation developed with it a little bit here, broad circulation, but it's trapped in that big dusty air out here. See the southern extent near the ITCZ has really blown up here because it's more uh, moist down this area. So this will be something to watch. These waves are getting more and more um, potent as they move off the African coast. And this is signs where next week, this is the precursor to next week's, uh, I expect, a ramp up in activity across the uh, tropical Atlantic. But this will be one to watch for down the road again as it, as we watched Invest 97L make its trek last week all the way across. We'll have to watch this one as well. And here again is the MJO forecast. Remember I was telling you that I don't think the MJO is really going to budge out of here anytime soon. And you can see more and more of the forecast. Yeah, it tries to get out of here in the next week or two, but not really. We get back to neutral conditions beginning of August here. So I think for the most part, right in this region here we're gonna stay pretty positive here with the MJO so again you may think it's not busy now but it's gonna heat up and let me tell you everybody thinks oh the season's slow actually we're normal for this time of year one storm is normal the second name storm normally does not ha occur until August 1st and normally the first hurricane doesn't occur till August 10th so that kinda puts things into perspective uh, People are starting to say, oh, the season's a bust. Look, it's been slow. It's normally slow this time of year. Do not get caught off guard by this lull in the season. Be prepared. If you're in the hurricane areas, please be prepared for, for what's going to come the rest of this season. And quickly, a couple model runs. This is the experimental FIM model. It's actually been doing pretty well so far this season. They may imp implement this uh, next season for good. We'll have to see. Um, but this is showing you, just showing you 97L, and this is what it expects it to do. It starts to develop it once again into the Gulf, and then, again, sorry, but Texas. I hate saying Texas. That seems like a broken record so far this season, but that's where this model's showing where 97L may develop. It also develops another one here in the um, Caribbean. But just wanted to show you Invest, just showing you this model. And here's the parallel GFS, and just want to focus on it doesn't really develop this system but just focus on the energy here here it is right here moves it into the Florida Straits by Friday and then into the Gulf of Mexico and then towards again Texas Louisiana this high pressure over in this region here hold strong this week then towards the weekend it might weaken a little bit and shift a little farther east and that may open this up if invest 97 L does develop it to move a little farther north so all along the Gulf Coast here you have to be uh, watchful of this system um, as we move into the weekend and last but not least the euro model again doesn't really develop 97 L shows you some of the energy as it moves into the Gulf then tries to get another system going in the Caribbean um, towards the mid um, next week um, time here next week um, mid, mid to late next week you see it start to develop it right in this area here so what we're going to watch for the next couple days is our two systems there. We have that one in the Central Caribbean. We may see an invest tag on that later today if it could get some low-level uh, circulation going and some convection. And then also watching our invest. Nothing going to develop in the next couple days, but that's going to be one to watch for as it heads towards the Bahamas and the Florida Straits. Thanks for listening today. I will have another tropical update tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day. Again, um, liveweatherblogs.com for all your latest weather information. Thank you.